Thank you for tuning in to Check Your Nation. We're here at Faces. We're here with Monique from the, the Downtown Divas show. And we have Kevin here and we have Michelle. Um, Monique, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got your start? Hello, thank you, darling. <laughs> well, I'm Ms. Monique Moore, hostess of the Downtown Divas Dragalicious Show every Sunday night here at Faces Nightclub in Sacramento. Um, my birth name is Mario Ruiz. I was born and raised in San Jose, California. Um, I trained as a dancer my whole entire life. I came out of the closet when I was about 17 years old. And I started doing drag shows about... When I started 18 years old, I started doing my drag shows, sneaking into all the gay clubs with a fake ID. Back in the day, you can get away with fake ID. Nowadays, you cannot. Um, and I started doing drag, and I loved it so much. I love to entertain. That's why I became a female impersonator. Um, I get... I don't do drugs, I barely drink alcohol, but my high is performing for the audience and that's my high. So I encourage all those entertainers who want to become drag queens, do it. Just you don't need drugs or alcohol to be fierce. Hey, I know the Rainbow Festival is coming up, the 25th year. Tell us a little bit about the battle of the bitches, Faces versus Badlands. Tell us about that. First of all, there is going to be no battle because Faces is going to let Badlands have it. Okay. Okay, let me tell you about that. Well, they started a drag show at Badlands on Friday nights. It's called Friday's a Drag, and they only have it once a month, and my show is continuous. For three years already, I'm going to host, I've been hosting um, for three years, and um, Badlands wants to compete against us. I said, bring it, bitches, honey, because we are going to let them have it. Right on. I like that. Hey, you know something? There's something else I want to ask you. I think a lot of people out there do not know how big of a role the drag queens have played um, in, in the gay community as far as the gay movement. Can you tell them a little bit about the Stonewall, how the drag queens have played a big part in the Stonewall movement? Well, if it wasn't for the drag queens, everybody, the gay people would not be in gay establishments like this today. Drag queens are fierce. Right. We have balls, as you can tell. We're not afraid to talk. We're not afraid to walk in front of the streets. I live my life as a woman 24 hours a day now. I finally stepped into that different category from a drag queen. I'm a transsexual woman now, which I'm still a drag queen at heart. I was born and raised a boy. And I will continue to be a boy. But this whole Stonewall thing, if it wasn't for drag queens, we would not be here today because we pushed the limits to everybody. So so when you were talking about what kind of dancing you do, what kind of training have you had? I've had ballet, jazz, tap, acrobatics, and um, hip-hop dancing. Okay, I'm a hip-hop instructor. Okay. okay. dancing as well. Okay, all right, I like that. So I've seen your show, I was here two weeks ago, and I have to say you put on a great show. So you are the biggest diva here, I want to give you that, okay? But I want to say, how is it with the competition with the other women here, with the other female personators? Well, I don't think of it as competition. Um, I have all the girls, different types of girls. I have beginners in my show. Because if it wasn't for beginners, somebody gave me a start. Now, I give all the other girls who want to become drag queens a start as well. And I let them perform in my show. Um, towards the end of my show, say we have seven girls perform in the first act. The first three girls are the beginners. So... The divas, you know, it's a step, it's a ladder, it's a ladder. They have to step to go towards the end of the show. So the beginners, a lot of people call beginners boogers. If you watch RuPaul's Drag Race and you heard about the boogers and, yeah. Well, I wouldn't call my girls boogers. They are drag queens in training. Okay. You know, some of them don't know how to put their makeup on flawlessly, but in time they will get to learn that and I'm here to teach them. Yes. Um, I'm Ms. Monique Moore and I have a house. It's called the House of Moore and I have a lot of kids whose families don't accept them and you know their gay lifestyle so they come to my house hang out party you know come get ready at my house get ready and drag and then they go hang out at the clubs which I don't have a problem with so I mean my parents thank the Lord that they were so accepting of me um, actually I just had my breasts done about two weeks ago and I just went to visit my mother and father in Los Angeles this past about three days ago when I called you and my mother says okay let me see these breasts your brothers and sisters and all your uncles and aunts have been hearing about on Facebook and I said look and she said oh my god they're massive <laughs> I said well hon I, I said mother well you told me if I'm gonna do something do it to the extreme and do it the right way so I feel that my drag is the right way so 
Yeah, you know, you're you're so up uplifting, and it's like the message you're putting out there is so inspiring, and we need more people out there like you. I mean, because I mean, we're we're all, you know, the the same. You know, whether we're gay, straight, or you know, I mean, if everyone was able to accept everyone for who they are, you know, I mean, this would be such a, a much better world. I feel that is very true. I was like I said, I was just in Los Angeles and I was walking around the whole garment district in Los Angeles and nobody had a problem with me dressed up as a woman. I feel that if you're dressed up as a woman, look good being a woman. Anybody can dress up as a woman. Anybody. But like somebody will say, oh that's a dude. But you know, hey, you look hella good because I have it together. Okay, that's the word. Have it together. If you're going to be a woman, have it together. If you're going to be a gay man and you want to be very flamboyant and gay, have it together. Right. I have no problem with flamboyant people. I was very flamboyant as a young male. And um, I had no problem people saying, oh, you're a fag or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I am a fag. Right. You know, I hate that word. It's very derogatory. People say, hey, that's a fag. Yeah, I am a fag. And your point being is, just like, you no, know, it's horrible. You know, just like with you being black, you don't like to be called the N-word, right? No, hell no. But you just smile at them, don't let them get to you. Exactly. But if you piss me off, remember, I am a man in a dress, and I will beat your ass. <laughs> People don't realize. Uh, can you tell us about, what was it like the first time you went on stage, your first performance? Can you tell us what it felt like? Okay, when I was 16, 17 years old, I used to stand outside and watch the drag queens go in the, um, the club. It was called Hamburger Mary's in San Jose at the time, Club St. John's. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was years ago. And I used to watch the drag queens walk in, and I said, wow, I want to do that. So I entered my first contest. I snuck in, and I entered my first contest, and I did Paula Abdul's Vibology. Oh my God. And I told you before, I was a dancer. I used to tap dance. I used to do acro. And I ran, and I did round off flip-flops in high heels, about four-inch high heels, my first time, and I won the, the contest. And ever since then, I have done pageants and contests. Like I said, I love drag. Drag is my life. Um, and since that day, I've been doing this ever since. I also was on the Jay Leno show performing for Paul Abdul 10 years later. Oh, wow. um, I was on the Jay Leno show with Paul Abdul, Simon, and Randy. Uh -huh. I've been on Maury Povich. I've also, back when Maury Povich wasn't, is that your baby's daddy? That's right. It was back in the day when Maury Povich was Maury Povich. Right. And I was also on the Ricky Lake show. How many of you remember Ricky Lake? Oh, I, do, yeah. I was actually on the Ricky Lake show three times. And um, it was fabulous. I had a great time. Time. I've competed at Miss Gay America, Miss Gay US of A, and Miss Continental, the um, three prestigious pageants in the whole entire country. About how long does it take you to get this ready for a show? How long? It takes about an hour. Um, I put on some music, some old Club 69 music. Okay. You know, that's all. I look good. <laughs> My friends were like, what are you listening to? You got to remember, I come from the old school of drag. And they're listening to Lady Gaga and all that stuff. They're like, what music is that? I go, honey, this is the music that got you here. The yes, the original. Just like CeCe Peniston is supposed to be performing. Uh, yeah. Yes, I can't wait for her, honey. Old school. Can we all say old school? Old school. That's right, old school rules, though. Um, which celebrities, and I know you really like Paula Abdul, obviously, but what other celebrities in, kind of inspire you, their look, maybe? I would like to say that I love Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Okay. Can you say, look, I have my J-Lo hair on. Wow. I got my J-Lo gold tan. <laughs> Um, I actually, I, I love all entertainment, entertainers, period. As long as you're not doing drugs and you're teaching children out there to do drugs, and I'm not going to say Lady Gaga is doing drugs, well, she look, looks like it. Um, I've heard she does, but that's not for me to, you know. But um, I really don't really care for Lady Gaga too much. Her music's okay, but her, she's like, eh. But um, I enjoy every type of music, period. And if you're an entertainer and you're entertaining and having a good time doing it, I'm here in the audience watching and I just love it. I love entertainment, period. That's why I do drag. Entertainment is my thing. Um, some of my entertainers, they're better getting here, but I will send them over here. You can interview them as well. Okay, thank All right, you. thank you, darling. Thank you for tuning in to Checker Nation. We're here down at Faces and we're here to interview some of the performers in the Downtown Divas. So I'm going to pass the mic to each one and have you guys introduce yourself. 
Hi, I'm Kima LaRue. Um, I've been here at Faces now. Well, actually, I'm a headliner. Um, I also help Miss Monique Moore. Uh, currently, you know, during the show and stuff. Um, also, uh, I've been doing the show now for about, I'm going to say, 10 plus. So, I've been, actually, I've been here longer than any of the girls, including Monique. So, yeah. Hello, I'm Spay Royal Gotti Moore. I'm Monique Moore's son. I've been performing here at Faces, ooh, maybe five, six years, somewhere around there. And I want to tell you, the Dragalicious show here at Faces is the best show in Sacramento. So if you're here, make sure you come to Faces and come see Kima LaRue, my mother, Miss Monique Moore, myself. I'm the only stud here in the show, so come out and check us out. Hi, my name is Roxy Monroe. I've been performing here in the Dragalicious show for, I think, seven months now. We just started seven months. Um, yeah, seven months. Um, and if you're free on Sundays, you should come down and see us perform live. The show starts at 9.30, and we are the longest running drag show in Sacramento. And so you guys should come by and stop down and see the girls and Spade. So may I ask how long have you been dressing in drag? Um, it was one year officially in June. Okay. Yeah. And how long did it do when you guys when you came out? Um, that, oh, that's been a long time. Oh, really? Okay. A long time. Okay. Good. I have to get some makeup <laughs> tips from you guys before we leave, okay? I just want to let you know that. I love your eyeshadows. I have to say that. Uh, go ahead. Oh, my God. I was just looking at your nails. Oh, wow. Um, how long did it take to... It's been five years. Oh, they wow. Were, they were out that long. I would never want you to get mad at me. No, I don't call you before. <laughs> I'm a lady. Okay, and why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay, I'm originally from Minnesota. I'm actually Sacramento's ICP 38th reign. We raise money for charities, for Cancer Association, AIDS, Heart Association, and we like doing the Dragalicious show here because it's a lot of fun. You can be yourself, you can do what you want to do, and be free. And that's the whole part about it is living your life the way you want to 24-7. Okay, so Come on first, or in, in the show, or um, I'm in the opening act. Okay. Uh huh. And then also Roxy. Okay. We're all in the opening act. Okay. You know who you remind me of? Celine Dion. <laughs> that's who I'm sitting here thinking we're listening to this song that's playing. That's who you remind me of. You're very beautiful. Yourselves, give me one good word that you would describe yourself. Oh gosh, just one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a lot. Right. Um, fierce. Okay. Fierce. And I would say debonair. And I would just say simply fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for giving us the, your time. I know you guys have to get ready to perform. We're going to stay and watch you guys perform. And for anyone that's interested in coming down and watching them perform, they're here every Sunday night at 9.30. Oh, okay, it's a great show. Thank you for tuning in. Benefits show afterward. How are you doing today, Mark? I'm good. Are you really? Okay. 